you good things and welcome back to The Slice. My name is Rog and today we're getting stuck into the single greatest aspect of any sport at any level and that is rivalry. Rivalry is so remarkable and emotional because it's not just about winning or losing the game at hand, it's about the history, it's about the euphoria, it's about all the trauma from the years in the past and it's also about the bragging rights that'll live long into the future. So here we are, the beautiful Sunshine Coast, I mean you're talking rivalry in the Sunshine Coast, you're only ever talking about Maruchador up against the Noosa Tigers. So I'm not just here today by myself for the heat of this battle, I'm with the sensational Bodie Jacko. Let's get stuck in. Mate, Noosa up against Maruchador, the Sunshine Coast Derby they call it. Has it been a rivalry that's driven you and made your content sort of better than what, what it probably would have been? Probably the biggest one would be actually with one of my close friends. We got really into Fortnite. I don't know, oh, I'm, yeah. a little, I'm a yeah, little ashamed magic. to admit it, but man, we were so big on it for a while and it was always a competition about who could have a better KD. Obviously, you are an absolute superstar in the content creation game. You're traveling all across the world. Your videos are sensational. But as we know, content creation is such a competitive market. There's billions of people trying to get in involved. We take a very friendly approach to it, but we try and bring each other up. Um, and we have competitions weekly, like who can make the most videos, who can make a better video, like. What I find most fascinating about rivalry is how you managed to gain an extra leg, you managed to gain an extra yard of pace, you've managed to find something from within that you didn't have before. Like, I grew up playing for the uh, mighty Banyul Football Club. We got split into a ones and a twos and I was like 12 years old, so I got put into the, the second side. And there was a rivalry between the two of us, except it was a rivalry where they didn't really care about us because we're just the twos team, that never amounted to anything. We were looking at them as these guys who got picked in the ones and they're winning grand finals and we're getting smashed. As you get older, you start to realise you use a rivalry to support each other and make yourselves become a better version of each other through your rivalry, so it's clearly what's happened with you and your mate. And I think it brings out the best in both of us. It is the Sunshine Coast Derby. Let's go see what it's all about. So what's your impression of being here? You've got a big game between Noosa and Maruchidor, a big crowd here. What are your impressions of the game? Actually loving it. Like the energy is sick. I got a couple of good friends playing, so like a little bit nervous for them. I didn't expect to be standing on the sidelines and feeling so much. What do you think about the contest itself? Like they seem to be going pretty hard at it out there. It's full on. Like I've watched a bit on TV, but it's a different thing being here. Watching the boys get knocked over like that, they really put all of their heart into it. Mate, I told you, their football canteen is the peak, the pinnacle of gourmet eating. How good does this look? Are you kidding me? This looks unmatched. Let's get it. Let's get stuck in. Could we please grab two potato cakes and one pie and sauce? What was your name? Joy. Joy? Yeah. How long have you been uh, operating behind the canteen? About four years now. Four years, and what do you think of the big Maruchador Noosa rivalry in your time here? It's unreal, we love it. As if it can't get any better here at Maruchador, we ordered you a couple potato cakes and you've walked away with a meat pie as well. Life is good at the footy, cannot complain. Only one step left, brother. Let's tuck in. Oh. Mmm. It's the simple things in life. It really is. They make it all worthwhile. Oh, three quarters time, Noosa, down by 100 points. So easy for teams to just roll over mm. and already think about their Saturday nights and end up losing by 180. I want to see their leaders stand up and go, boys, we want to give our supporters something to hang their hats on, so let's win this last quarter and give them something to be proud of. Hopefully, it's as good as this meat pie. Oh, we are being dreamland. I want to see how you go with a footy in hand, see if we can enhance your ability so you're capable and maybe you've got a bunch of mates running out there already, maybe we can get you running out with them. Friday afternoon, kicking a ball with them. If I could join in, that'd be that'd be good. Righto, Bodie. We are kicking a bit earlier today. Your kicks were doing the helicopter. Drop it straight down with one hand, hopefully. Head over the point of the ball. Keep your nose right over him like you're trying to, like you're trying to sniff the thing, right? Great and then your foot is uh, wants to hit the seam of the ball, right? Yep. So then hopefully, if you get lucky, spin backwards like that. Come on, Bodie, I Same believe in ball, you. ball, drop, nose, yep. bunch of things. Nose right over the ball. ball. Brody! Hey, that is are you joking? That rotated that backwards, I've never seen anything like it. That was sensational. So the single greatest uh, part of any sport on the planet is the specky in Australian rules football. Okay. You see it in no other sport around the world. How do I not know this? How it works is when you got a when your opponent is standing in front of you and you're behind and the long ball comes in, 
what people will do is you'll sit on their back, put the knee into their back, bang, take the big specky. Okay, Have you right. seen it before? Yeah, we saw it earlier. Yeah, when yeah. you sit, when they sit on their head and they take an absolute specky. So I want you to practice that. I'm going to throw the ball up, and you're going to sit on my back, drill your knee into the top of my back, and you're going to take the catch. This feels like a lot of choreographing. I felt so much pressure in my life. All right, here we go. <laughs> It's not easy to take a specky, that's why. You know what specky's short for? That was a shocker. Spectacular. Please, please. Please. What do we think of 64? <laughs> Now I've heard a red hot rumour around the club that there are two Queensland Australian Football Hall of Famers present here as if that wasn't good enough. One is a lifetime member of Noosa and one is a lifetime member of Maroochydore. Let's go find them. Len and Wes, gentlemen, it's a beautiful day out here. Can you talk to me a bit about what this rivalry means to your football club? It's gone on for 54 years actually and it's never going to change. Maroochydore and Noosa um, are a clash that both sides want to win. And when they play, by nine o'clock, the ground is fully surrounded with people. And it's so parochial, it just brings people together. And that's what it's all about. And on the field, it's fierce. Me being personally a player back in the early days, it was one of those games you really wanted to play and you wanted to win at all costs. Do you think that the players go an extra leg when they know it's a Maroochydore v Noosa fixture? Yes. I, look, fair dinkum, from the word go, for the first 12 grand finals that the Sunshine Coast League played, Noosa won six and Maroochydore won six. First year, there were three teams playing. Maroochydore went through the year basically without winning a game and yet Maroochydore came out and beat Noosa in the grand final. You're kidding! Here with the absolute weapons of the Maroochydore under 15 lads team. Boys, how are we feeling about this game? You're absolutely thrashing Noosa. Oh, just glad they were up against Noosa. Yeah, why? Where has this rivalry come from? Well, why do you boys have such a strong dislike of Noosa? Oh, just a close team to us. A oh, bit of banter between us. How do you go when, when you play against them, like uh, for your team? Who, who, sort of, who sort of dominates when you play in Noosa? Oh, Marucci do take it by, I reckon, about 124 points normally. Yeah, who's the, who's the superstar here? Who's, who's, you're the king, are you? You're the, <laughs> did you get best on last time you played Noosa? Uh, yeah, I actually did. No, I actually did. I actually did. <laughs> who's, who do you reckon the, uh, the least accountable player here, the person who doesn't defend at all? Who you reckon? Probably Sasha. <laughs> Go -go. Now at most football clubs they have an area where they celebrate some of the past greats that have put on the Guernsey. But here, they don't just have past greats, they have players that have graduated to the AFLW. Five of them if you do not mind. That is an unbelievable strike rate for Maroochydore. What a club. We've also got some local legends here, but also Carter Michael and Noah Cumberland both made the AFL. This is an absolute footy factory. I'll oh, have a look no, at I this. I prepared you peppermint crisp. My favourite flavour of pavlova. How did you know? Oh. I've heard about this all day, Ray, and I cannot wait to taste it. Here we go. I hope you like it. That's better than a premiership. Cody, the sun is starting to set on one of the all-time great days at the footy, mate. How would you enjoy it? I loved it. Every bit was sick. Favourite part was the meat pie. There is nothing better than a meat pie at the footy. It was sensational. So thank you not only to you, Bodie, for coming on, but to the Noosa and Maroochydore footy clubs for having us at the Sunshine Coast Derby. Unbelievable day. Make sure you follow us at AFL Play on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube. And make sure you start sending us in your footy faves. Could be anything. Your favourite kit you wear to the games, your favourite trick shot. Send it in and we'll get it uploaded to AFL Play. Thanks again, brother. What a day.